Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, sorry for not posting a lot of videos. I was busy and sick and kids were sick with viruses and stuff. But I'm doing the timing belt on my MK4 and I didn't post the whole video about the like how to do the timing belt. There are tons of videos online which are fave much much better than how I would do. But there is a problem in MK4 timing belt when you're doing it that everyone is kind of facing if they are doing it for two second time or the third time let's see what is that real problem is not with the timing belt and its parts itself but it's about the engine mount that sits with the engine and not the top mount with the rubber this is aluminium to keep the weight down this is aluminium and this needs almost 100 newton meters of torque so if you keep doing the torque on these screws again and again and again and again these come out so all of a sudden you're done with the timing belt and you're putting this back putting all the screws back and then the this and the threads get stripped so you put this in and then you do the 100 nanometers and then you see like okay this is not this is just free and when you take it out there are all the aluminium threads on uh, on it so i've cleaned it almost but there were like threads already on it so these two are almost damaged so now i need to repair them there are several ways to do it some people say like for example this is 12 x 1.5 that's the measurement on these boards length i don't know i think it's 68 millimeters but it's 12 into 1.5 millimeters um, that's how you you have the threads and uh, that's how you have sizes so there are two ways for example three ways two three ways you make this bigger because you cannot put the 12 into 1.5 again in this one even if you make the threads that's um, yeah that's another guideline and another story so you can take it to 14 into 1.5 then you drill it to for example 13 and then make the new threads which are 14 into 1.5 but then you need to find the new boards of the same size but the threads and the diameter should be 14 into 1.5 which can be hard or which can be easy but that way is one way other way is the heli coil way so you uh, buy a heli coil kit they keep it a trade secret like what this tap is so you put the new threads in with this one i don't know how much is this one this is their trade secret that's why they don't tell it so for example maybe this is 13 into 1.5 or 14 into 1.5 and then in those threads this heli coil goes in and then in this heli coil these older screws can go in because this inside is 12 into 1.5 millimeters outside you can measure but they don't tell but you can measure by yourself the threads on the outside and inside will be 1.5 but the diameter inside is for sure 12 but outside you can check or you don't have to but then you put these ones in but here i have a problem either i buy like the bigger ones because this is small and i need two of these or the double of this um it's tricky if i want to put two in so then the threads should match in a way that the screw can go in easily this is what i'm trying to do i will put two of these in uh, in in like this in this one and then put the screw in so that's what i'm trying to do this is cheaper from amazon for 20 dollars there is another one which is called that everyone is talking about i don't know the name that the expensive one that is like 100 dollars. So, but i'm a cheap steak so i'm using this one this is just 20 25 dollars so I'll and then I'll show you the steps so you need to make the bore the hole bigger with this one then you tap with these threads then you put the heli coils in and then you put the screws in so let's see if this works and if this method is stronger enough to hold the engine so remember that these bolts and this is going to hold your engine weight so it is quite a lot of weight so you need to be careful in the material that you choose and the way you work so you need to be careful or your engine can fall down while you're working i'm taking a risk but i'm thinking that this is metal heli coil this cannot break if this aluminium can handle the weight of the engine so this iron threads that goes in combined with the aluminium this should hold so let's see fingers crossed let's see how you do it we 
get the you have to drill the hole but this is for example 12.4 12.36 and if your uh, their diameter is 10 and if you use the drill as you've seen the accident uh, if you use the drill directly with this one the drill can get stuck otherwise you have to go like for example 10 10.5 11 11.5 12 and then use this otherwise if you have a machine like this where you can put it and secure everything then put the bit in and then screw it or get someone in some workshop to do it for you So as you see the threads around it and then the helicoil is almost all the way in but there is still some space so that is why i wanted to use two helicoils so maybe some of some part of it will be outside so i have to cut it so let's see how this thing works out for me i think so far is going pretty well despite there was an accident but so far i've tried one side so it's going well So now you can see there is one helicoil that is in the bottom it's all way all the all the way in and then the other one is kind of where the first one ends and i've tried to put it now the, all the threads up till the end looks smooth so there is no problem in the screw going in so i've checked when i put the screw it goes all the way in so that is for sure that it's going through the first and the second helicoil so that means this is a success so i broke the the edge on the first one but the second one that is too deep i didn't break it so now i will cut it off from the from the top here and then put the bolt back in and show you guys like if this is a success so i did cut the helicoil here it's a bit uh <laughs> ugly from here but if when you put the screw in so then you can see that the screw is going all the way in how it's supposed to so this is a success it doesn't have to go all the way in these threads will remain out as the engine mount this whole thing is not gonna it's uh, yeah when you put the other engine mount maybe the bolt is gonna be here so this is how you can fix uh, your threads if they are stripped of your engine mount you need this kind of kit i'll put the link in the description put one helicoil in all the way and then put another one in don't just don't let the threads overlap you can bring like for example i destroyed one this kind of overlapped started overlapping the other one so thread started to come out on the inner side so i have to like pull it out without uh destroying the newly made threads so i think you've seen all the process so this is how you do it and i think this works really well and i'm i'm super happy with the result so if you have any questions any comments please write in the comment section and ask me any question you want make sure to subscribe the channel like the video share the video add the comments and you will see more golf videos and other how to do kind of videos and diy kind of videos have a nice day bye